My next guest this morning is definitely a familiar name to Key West residents. Bob Vitas has been our city manager since July of last year. Now he brought a wealth of experience to the table. He's a leader who encourages teamwork and of course community prosperity. He's excited for a new year with the residents of Key West. Well, thanks. Thank you so well, much. For thanks being for having on. me on your show. Appreciate <laughs> well, it, Jenna. It's wonderful finally being able to talk with you. Now, I know there are so many new developments for 2013. Yeah, in 2013, I think what you're going to see is, is that the city is really taking a leap forward. Prog uh, it's going to be a year of progress in reality. Uh, a lot of projects, uh, over 50 projects, are actually at some stage in the uh, project process whether it's just starting now or whether they're coming to fruition. And uh, so we've got a very busy year ahead of us. Let's talk about some of the major projects. Okay. I think, uh, I think we just finished up a project, which I think the residents really wanted to see done quickly. And, uh, and so did I, because it started on the, uh, the, almost at the same time I did, and that was the 14th Street reconstruction. Mm -hmm. That project should be done completely this week. And I think that include, that'll include all the street signage, all the pavement marking that needs to be done, all of the sod that needs to be installed, and, uh, and I'm happy to see that that got done as quickly as it did, uh, including the Aqueduct Authority uh, being very cooperative in terms of replacing the, the water main that was in the street that needed, to be, that needed to be lowered. So that was a great success. Okay, so first project off the checklist for off 2013. Checklist. Yes. What's another one that should be coming to close soon? Well, I mean, there's a lot of projects that are that are, we're working on uh, stormwater projects, the George Street Basin. Uh, that thing is winding down, and I think that's really great because stormwater is a big issue in this city. Mm -hmm. As we know, when the tide is high and at different times of the year, I mean, we really need to be on top of the stormwater. So. What we're doing is we're working on that project, should be wrapping that one up as well. Okay. Now, are you happy with everything so far? I mean, you're new to Key West, of course, so what's your overall take on everything? Oh, it's interesting. I'm new to Key West <laughs> as the city manager. I'm old to Key West as a, as a former visitor. Okay. You know, I, I've been coming to the Keys probably since the mid to late 70s, and mm -hmm. it seems like I always found my way down here. I never suspected it would be to be the city manager. Right. You know, but at this point in my career, I'm thrilled to death that it actually is Key West. Okay. Uh, why? I think Key West has got some fantastic projects going on. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I've dabbled in these types of projects for the last 30 years. So I'm familiar with the projects, but they're here locally. Mm -hmm. uh, the City Hall project, that is a huge undertaking by this city. Uh, we're getting ready to bring forward the names of architects who have expressed an interest, you know, in actually uh, preparing the old Glen Archer School for us as a new city hall, a new home for city government. Uh, that project is, is, is going to take off this year, and, and that's been a long time in, in the discussions and in the coming here in, in Key West. Okay. Now, you keep mentioning so many projects, so many developments. Are you guys overloaded? Uh, overloaded, I, I don't think we're overloaded. I think it's, it's, it's the, the reality is setting in, you know, from my perspective, what we need to do. Mm -hmm. uh, when you have such a large volume of projects going on and you have a, a certain size staff, you know, all of the work has been distributed among different people. The, the big issue is, is that the manager is being able to report out to the commission, the mayor, and the citizens how those projects are going. And that's going to be the next step. We're going to be looking at putting in place some type of a project management software system so that at any point in time, if somebody wants to know which projects are going on, you know, at what stage of development are those projects, uh, how much has been expended on those projects, we're able to be able to report that out. You know, and that's one of my goals in this administration is to make sure that there's transparency and accountability for these projects mm -hmm. because we're talking millions and millions of dollars. Right. When do you hope to have that completed? very, very shortly. Okay. I would say probably within the next 30 to 60 days, that system should be up and running. Great. Well, thank you so much for being on the show this morning, Pleasure. sharing it. Sounds like 2013 is off to a good year for you, so hopefully <laughs> the rest of it is smooth, right? All smooth sailing, and that's what we're looking for. I, I think that's what, that's what I'm finding, and uh, there's a lot of great people, a lot of great citizens here, 
It's a community that's very engaged, and what we want to be is we want to be a very engaged local government, and that is the goal. Great. Well, I know that we are all happy that you are here, so thank, thank you for you. being with me this morning. Pleasure. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. I hope you can join me back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day. It'll be okay.